Hello my fish and friends. On this episode I'm going to show you how to make a fully self-contained and portable John Boat sonar pod in just three easy steps. So without further ado let's get started. So here's a shot of the pod fully assembled. The battery, the screen, and finally the transducer in the back. You'll need some sort of water resistant housing to store your battery. I just use this old screw box that I had laying around. Okay, now let's talk a little about the materials we'll need. First, we'll need a good glue. Then you'll need some fasteners. I like these fin screws because the head is small and it's easy to countersink it into the material. Then you're gonna need some three quarter inch by three and a half inch by eight foot PVC board and three quarter inch by nine and a half by eight foot PVC board. These boards are excellent in a water environment. You could possibly make it out of wood, but I just find that this stuff is really resilient and I highly recommend it. Then you're gonna need a good drill gun and some drill bits. Then you need a screwdriver. I like this type because you can switch out the head easily. And it's helpful to have a table saw a compound miter saw with a blade turned around backwards for a cleaner cut into the PVC. Now, if you don't have that, you can also just use a hand circular saw and again, turn the blade around backwards. Okay, now let's talk a bit about the battery case. Here I've cut some foam in the bottom to the size of the battery and then I drilled a hole in the side and put a grommet in it that's just a bit bigger than the, the line that's coming in and that kind of gives you a water sealed opening. Then you'll want to put in a inline fuse. You want to make sure you have that for safety concerns. Now on the battery that I have, I just have these spade connectors. So I went ahead and put some spade ends on it and I used some heat shrink to, to seal it up. And then you just want to plug that in and then you should be able to just close the case and tuck your wires in of course and then close your case and you should have a somewhat waterproof seal with this design. Now it's time to make the box for your battery. You'll use nine and a half inch board for the bottom. The left, right, and front will be used from your three and a half inch boards. So what I did was I just set my nine and a half inch board down and I put down my box on top of my battery box on top of it and then I measured out enough to have just a bit of a gap and then also I allowed for the width of my boards on the left, right, and front. Then you want to measure all that out and cut it and then just assemble the box so that it looks something like this. The next step is to take your nine and a half inch board and place it inside the transom and make sure it's all the way down at the bottom and then go over on the back side and make a mark and you want to cut that and then put that to the side. It's important not to make that a shortcut so make it a little bit longer so that you have a little bit more material. So you can see I put that board that we just cut over there to the right. That's going to be the back part of our box. So now I'm taking the cut piece for the bottom and I'm taking the front and marking and then drilling three pilot holes on the bottom. Then I'm going to take it and put it on top and mark and actually I went ahead and drilled a hole right there in that left hole, a pilot hole and then put that screw in only halfway. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill out the middle and the right. So I'm going to drill the right here and put in a screw to hold that right side in. Again only halfway. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill the pilot hole for the middle and then put the middle screw in halfway again. We're gonna take this out and glue it later on. Now we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna take the left side, get it lined up right, and drill a pilot hole for the top, and then put this screw in halfway as well. Now what I'm doing here is I'm drilling this through, screwing this through until the point just sticks out. Then I'll stick it in the pilot hole and then go ahead and screw it down. Now I'm using a, a a hand screw just cause so I don't strip this out. Later on I use my power drill as well. Now we're gonna flip it over, line it up and drill a pilot hole for the front here. So that's going from the bottom 
to that left hand side and again just halfway through I want to drill a hole a pilot hole for the front and put this halfway through Then we'll do one more screw hole there and then put that halfway as well. Now we're going to assemble the right side. So put it in place, drill your pilot hole, and put this halfway through. Then we're going to flip it over and do the bottom, just like we did on the left side. Pilot hole. And then hand screw it in halfway. Now we're going to drill that one and that one. And put these screws in halfway as well. Now I'll take everything apart and we'll put me some glue through here. Screw this in until the point comes out. You can see that point just comes out. Stick it in that hole, line everything up, hold it tight, and then screw it in all the way and then countersink that so that it's just below the surface now we're going to go ahead and we're going to drill our top one well actually I'm going to go to the, to the left and put this one in do the same thing on this left side that gives us our bottom lined up and we're going to go ahead and we mark that then I glue it and again have the tip just out and then screw that in all the way now because you got your glue on then countersink it. Now you want to make sure you have four corners with the screws sticking out. The rest of them are submerged. Then you want to line this up, make sure that those holes all line up, and get it. Make sure it's when it's once it's lined, we're going to pull it off, and we're going to put us a good bead of glue here. Go pretty heavy with this. It will leak out a bit, but you can just wipe it off. Now we're going to take it with our four corners, and we're going to line those up. And place it down. Now we're going to screw in each of those four corners all the way down. Now I get my power drill and I just drill them, but I leave the heads out. I like to use my hand screw to screw those in to countersink them. That way you don't strip anything out. It's the way I do it. If you want to use your screw to do it the whole way, go ahead. Just the way I do it. So now that you got everything countersunk, we're going to take the board that we just cut earlier, which will be the back. And we're going to line this up. I'm going to put it on, get it lined up really well. And we're going to take our screw. And you have to remember where your screws are coming in. So I'm going to, there was no screw there, so I'm going to put a screw here on this side, do it halfway. And again, I'm just making my pilot holes, is all I'm doing here. Now we're going to line this side up, drill this hole here, put this one in halfway. Then we're going to put one more in the middle and do it halfway. Now we're going to go to the top, put one in here on the right side, halfway. Now we're going to the other side and do the same thing. Drill a pilot hole, line it up, make sure I'm flush there, and then screw in halfway. Now I'm going to take it all apart, put a good bead of glue in there with my four corners still having my points out, just those four, everything else is below the surface. Then we're going to take it, line it up, put those screw holes, screw tips in the holes, and now we can go ahead and put these in. What I did was I just kind of screwed them down a bit to get them into the surface, and then I go ahead and take my drill bit and drill them on down, and then again hand screw them and there's your box now we want to test fit it looks pretty good drop the box in make sure it fits put your line inside because I'll just kind of go around the box and then you can snap that down and there you have it now we need to make the top piece so I'm getting a piece of wood and putting on the transom. I'm trying to get the thickness of the transom. So I'm putting that support in the back so I'll make sure I'm lined up with the back of the transom. Then I mark the front of the transom. Now you're going to take that board 
and you're going to put it on your table saw and cut it and then I cut it in two with my miter saw then I sandwiched it in between the back piece that we cut and the front that we just made and now I'm taking a board and I'm tapping to make sure that everything's lined up really good so you just barely tap it and of course I got my clamps in there and holding it tight now there's our, our top piece I just cut that to length out of three and a half inch board now I'll put it in top and then I drill my pilot holes and you'll note that the overhang is towards the box side because in the back I'll be mounting another board for my transom so you want that overhang to go in the front or you can cut it flush but I just left it so now I'm just drilling my pilot holes again the same scenario where I'm drilling them and then I'm only sticking them or screwing them in about halfway because we're gonna end up gluing this so I'm doing my four corners to get everything lined up first. And you can see I've got my board sandwiched in there and that gives me my thickness of my transom. So now I have all four screws screwed in. I'm going to do two more, one front and back, and screw those halfway. Now once you have those screwed in, take them out, leave them screwed in. Don't fully take them out, but just back them out. And we're going to take this top off and we're going to, we're going to glue it. So now I'm going to put my glue on, and then again, having the four corners stuck out, put them into the holes, line everything up, and then go ahead and screw them down all the way. Without, I still leave the heads out, and then I take my screwdriver and countersink them with my screwdriver, so again, I don't strip them out. Now you want to mount the transducer. So I got a piece of three and a half inch board flush mounted it at the top and then I'm going to mark it about an inch or two above the bottom of the boat. That will prevent any rocks or objects from hitting it. Make that cut, bring it over and flush mount it to the top, get everything lined up and then you're ready to screw it. We're going to screw this, we're going to drill a pilot hole on the left hand side here and put a screw in halfway. And we're going to drill a pilot hole for the right side and put another screw in halfway. From this point you can go ahead and drill the remaining six holes. Make sure you don't go through both boards, mainly just the top and barely into the, the bottom board. Now I'm taking some roofing screws and putting them in just so that they go into the bottom board. So through the top board and then just into the bottom just to make that, that hole. And I'm going to back them out, leaving them in the board. And now we're going to get ready to glue it. So once you've got all the screws backed out, pop off your clamp and pull that up and then put a generous amount of glue. Now with the four corners screwed out just so the tips are out. Go ahead and line them up and now you can go ahead and screw these all the way down and countersink them. So at this point I just go ahead and get my drill gun and, and screw these down. You want, you want these to be pretty tight but don't strip them out. The last step will be mounting the sonar screen. So you want to put it on the top, mark your holes, and then go ahead and drill your pilot holes. Then place the screen back on and then screw this down and don't strip them out and make sure you don't pinch your wires. Then you just want to mark your pilot holes for the transducer. Drill the holes again not going all the way through and then you mount the transducer. Here's the finished product. I wire tied all the remaining wires. You can see it's totally self-contained. Now you can just take this out, put that in, in the back of your truck as you're transporting. Then when you get on the water, you can just shove it right on. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And we will see you on the next one.